Yo, what is going on guys? It's with Tyson KHD, bringing you guys another brand new video for your faces. And in today's video, we got a package in the mail and I wanted to unbox it with you guys and unveil what's in the box. So let's roll the unboxing B-roll. All right guys, so here she is, my first SCUF gaming controller. Now I've always been a little hesitant on picking up a SCUF just because it is a lot of money to dump into a controller compared to a regular controller. But with how much I've been playing Call of Duty and a couple other games like that, everyone's been telling me and recommending me to get a SCUF. So SCUF just had their Max Your SCUF event where you can pretty much max this thing out and it's all one set price. So I pretty much just figured if I was ever gonna get one, now's gonna be the time. So I fully customized this thing and I haven't seen it yet. So let's open this thing up. So here she is. Gotta take off the Got the foam. Got the little back, back covering. There she is. Got the paddles. All right, guys, here she is in all her glory. You got this nice little. Uh, joystick holder there and then you've got the nice there's like a little black kind of covering on the back let's get this off here and there she is there's the reason that the four paddles and you know it's actually you can almost do both the paddles with like with just your like fingers like because you can push down or push up depending on which button you need I was a little worried that that looking at them that these buttons were gonna be a little too close and I've got pretty fat fingers. Uh, and I was kind of worried that I was gonna not be able to hit these paddles, but they're actually really well uh, aligned where I'm not really gonna, I don't think I'm gonna have any issue with that. And one thing I did whenever I was designing my scuff was if you take a look at my old PS5 controller, I actually play with a control freak on it and it, I only use it on my right joystick. So whenever I was building my scuff, I made sure to get the low regular on the left joystick and the high uh, concave on the right joystick. But comparing the two joysticks, the scuff one is still a little lower than the control freak with on top of the regular PS5 joystick, but I don't think it'll be an issue. And if so, I can just get a low control freak to put on top of that high, that high stick from scuff. Another thing I did spec out onto the scuff is the short stop instant triggers. So instead of a full travel motion of a, of a trigger onto the regular PS5 controller, the scuff one travels a, about a third. I don't know if you guys can hear that engagement but it almost barely moves. And same with same with the bumpers. They are they're very very uh tactile and they almost kind of sound like a mechanical keyboard instead of uh an actual button full like full motion button. So let's go back into the more of the box. Let's see what else let's see what else scuff includes in the box. So if you actually pull this, this is the where the controller comes in and you've got everything else. You've got your your accessories. And that's we'll get into that in a second and then you have your I don't know if I can get it out of here. You have your little pamphlet here that actually is just all the safety information and everything about your scuff. So if we open up this accessories here, we do actually have, looks like we have other options. Oh, okay, so maybe, so this actually comes in, in one of the boxes. So inside of the accessory box, you actually have two other options for uh, your joystick. Now these are the dome I had the, the indent, but Scuff sent me out a uh, set of the same exact how I have a short and a long, but in the actual dome in case I don't like the dip. 
that's really cool of Scuff to send that out. And also the last thing inside of the accessory uh, box is obviously your cord to plug your Scuff into your PlayStation or PC or whatever you're using it on. And this cable is actually really nice. It's really thick cable and it comes with this nice little wire strap there. So if we take that off here, it's got a good, you know, it's got a good length wire. I play obviously at a setup, so I don't have to, you know, be very far away from my system anyways, but it's really good to have a little bit of extra length on your cord. So, you know, you can set it up on your desk or something if, you're, if your PS4 is on the ground or PS5 is on the ground or somewhere away from your desk. All right, guys, so that is the complete unboxing of the new scuff. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new because I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on how much this controller actually helps me in Call of Duty. I'm going to use it in some other games and see if the paddles actually help me out that much. And actually taking a deep dive into my gameplay and seeing if this thing is worth the money. But I can just tell you for right now, the build quality on this thing is beautiful. The, everything feels amazing. It feels real sturdy and it almost feels like this is how the controller should come from the fact. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys are new around here, make sure you guys subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.